Hey, what's up, guys? Um, Brother Ray. I guess it's true that the allegations against Ravi uh, Zachariah were, in fact, true. I just want to uh, pose a question here. Just, you know, I'm not trying to defend the guy or, you know, trying to hold on to, you know, his, you know, his um, legacy and all that. I just want to ask, you know, just think about it. Could it be that maybe, maybe enemies of Ravi Zechariah, he had a lot of enemies. Could it be that maybe they infiltrated his ministry and basically came out with this statement that, um, you know, that the allegations were true? Because before that, they were being denied. Now, all of a sudden, they're true. Could it be, is it possible that maybe people in that camp got bribed to basically say that in order to, you know, sh uh, in order to shame not just Ravi Zachariah, but also God and his, whole, his entire ministry, right? Basically tarnish Christianity, right? So people can say, oh, look, see, Christians, they're always hypocrites, ah, blah, blah, blah. So... Could that be the case? Could it be that they got infiltrated and basically somebody from within is trying to not just just tarnish the legacy of Ravi Zachariah, but tarnish his his ministry that is still around, that's still alive and you know and and at work. You know, could that be a possibility? Could it be that they got bribed? And basically corrupted for money in order to, you know, make these claims about him. Just saying. I don't think it's impossible. The other possibility is that uh, Ravi probably did those things, you know. He's, he's a human being. Um, he was sexual in nature. You know, like people like him probably were sexually repressed. And, you know, those things, you know, came out. They were wrong. He was wrong for that. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, shouldn't have fallen like that. But a man like that, with that kind of work that he did, was probably attacked all the time by, you know, demons and stuff. Trying to, you know, trying to bring him down. I guess they failed during his lifetime, but... Now he's not around to defend himself. So, you know, they accomplished this after. So I'm wondering, you know, could it be a possibility? Is it possible? Um, yeah, I mean, it sucks, you know? Um, he shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? And it goes to show, like, people got to stop idolizing other people. People got to stop, you know, idolizing people like Rabbi. You know, right? I can't even say his name like that. You know, people got to stop idolizing him and idolize God. You know, he's just a, a man. A man that can fail. And, I mean, not to say the wrong thing, he's also a Trinitarian. And if you, you know... That alone already puts a, a, I mean, he's a Trinitarian, therefore, you know, he's not worshiping, <laughs> he's not worshiping the right God, sorry to say. Um, but, you know, I, I believe that, I was actually thinking about this earlier, there are many Trinitarians that they really believe that they are, you know, worshiping God and they're sincere about it, they desire God, they just have an incorrect image of God, and I, and many of them report uh, having, you know, uh, the Holy Ghost and all that, and I wonder, can, can God use these people um, in spite of them having a false uh, image of God, and I think God can use them, God knows the hearts of people. people, God knows that people can be deceived, and if there's not somebody like me and others, like you know, explaining, you know, what the Bible actually says, they can be misled, you know, and they can 
you know, but they want to worship God. Their heart, their heart desires God. And I think God can use those people despite their misunderstandings. You know, same with modalists and whatever, you know, whatever other heretics. I think God can use people in spite of their errors. With that being said, God can use, you know, God did use rather instead uh, as um, in spite of his, I don't want to say demons, but in spite of his um, flaws, you know. So let's keep that in mind, you know, let's not. You know, let's let's keep in mind that the work that he did is finished. The work that he did, nothing. You know, even even if uh, I mean he, he got the job done. So, and it sucks that uh, he did those things. Maybe it was something that he did. Uh, you know, maybe he was going through a bad time spiritually, and he did those things, and then he stopped. You know, is it, maybe it's not something that he was continually, continuously doing for years and years. Maybe, uh, you know, it's something that he did for a time and that came to bite him. You know, we don't know. So those are my thoughts. Um, you know what I mean? Don't idolize other people. Don't cling to famous Christians. You know, stick to the Bible and focus on God. Focus on Christ. Maybe Rabbi should have should have focused on Christ, you know? Have a good one.